Hi, everybody. So I'm really happy to be here today to give an update on a topic many Microphone is not on. How is this? Oh, hi. Now you can hear me. I'm really happy to give an update on the Common Workflow Language Standards, a topic we've heard a little bit about uh, today. And uh, some who were here last year may uh, remember my introduction to it. Uh, I only have less than five minutes, so we're not going to go into a lot of details. I am going to talk about what's new in version 1.1 and what's coming uh, ahead. First, we need to define a word that we've already heard today used in at least two different ways. So just as a reminder, what does workflow mean? Um, workflow could mean what we do in the physical world, what we do in a lab, uh, or a process, mm, how to publish a paper, or get your, ex your travel expenses reimbursed. That's like a business process workflow. And the common workflow language standards uh, are an open standard not for that type of workflow. They're a standard for computational uh, automated workflows, uh, which we have heard about today as well. So we're talking about batch style, automated data analysis workflows made from POSIX, you know, Unix command line tools. So there are, if you care about those other workflows, those are awesome too, and they're good standards uh, for them. But here we're talking about batch workflows. Um, so. Uh, Earlier this year, we did release uh, an update uh, to the Common Workflow Language Open Standards. And I'm just going to briefly go through some of the new features because people are kind of curious. If you don't know anything about CWL, don't worry about this. Uh, come find me during the hackathon and we'll, we can teach you about it. The biggest thing in 1.1, 1.1 is a collection of um, uh, band-aids for paper cuts little things that were hurting, we, we shouldn't have them hurt. So one of them is the secondary files. If you use that feature, they can now be optional. Um, combining uh, tools when your uh, next new feature is, have, when you had sub tools inside a workflow in place, you had to like make the names different. That was kind of silly, so that's not a problem. We had uh, some shortcuts for standard out and standard error. Now they're standard in. We, kind of left, we forgot, we left that out of 1.0. CWL is known for having uh, resource requirements that help you schedule your execution of your tools and workflows. We had an amount of memory re required, amount of disk space. We forgot to have how long this might take to run. So if you've used uh, grid computing and you know the phrase wall time, you know, the time and the wall clock, that's what this is related to. So as you can see, there's not really anything super different in 1.1. We're just cleaning things up in preparation for some bigger changes. Um, a couple new more features. You can mark a, a step in your workflow as being OK to reuse, or maybe should not be rerun. Um, also, uh, then there's a new network access feature, and we're changing the default. If you don't tell us you need the network, you're not going to have network access. That was a thing in CWL version 1.0 that surprised lots of people. So now we're giving you the option to be specific about it. Um, we allow, when making the command line, we allow that position for one of your arguments to be dynamic using a CWL expression. And you also now have access to the exit code in a couple places where that wasn't available before. There are two changes we made. Now, you might say you should never make backwards incompatible changes. The good news is our upgrader changes. So these are changes in default behavior. Our upgrader from 1.0 to 1.1 will put the, the changes in so they don't bother you. But if you're writing 1.1 syntax from scratch, you will need to know about these two changes, which is about the contents of a directory object are not included by default unless you include them, unless you ask for them. And again, that network, network access thing I mentioned. So you can read all about the details. Uh, you may be asking, where can you use CWL 1.1? The reference runner, of course, is up to date. The next version of the Arvados platform includes it. It's in the development release. The Toil CWL runner, which is popular on grid computing sites, um, is getting there almost all the way done, but it's not yet past all the conformance tests. Seven Bridges has announced that they're working on support for their proprietary platform. 
And the Galaxy CWL project is targeting 1.1, so they don't have a timeline for release. Um, okay, well that's 1.1. What about 1.2 and 2.0? We've agreed to release 1.2 in, in a year or less. The big feature everybody wants is conditionals, and we are working on that right now. We're happy to announce that we're having a mini conference on the 17th and 18th, and we invite people to come participate in Boston, Massachusetts. And we've got some great ideas to work on the hackathon. So I encourage you to click through to the slides and read about our plans for new training materials. There's going to be Zatsu live coding, uh, bring your own workflow tool, more technical work. And uh, look for some of these people if you've got questions. So it's not just me to help you out and give answers. And maybe by the end of the week, you'll become CWL person as well. So thank you so very much, and uh, happy to talk to you all later. Cheers.